Good afternoon to everyone attending this ceremony virtually. I wish all the families and cadets well, and I wish this ceremony did not have to be conducted under these circumstances. But if I have learned one thing over my four years of Marine Corps JRTC, is that something is that when something goes south quick, you adapt and overcome and make it work. This year, of course, would not have happened without the two great instructors we have to guide us today. And without the support of the families, cadets, and organizations, this year would have been much worse due to these sort of very circumstances that keep us from having an in-person ceremony today. This year was a rough year, from a virtual learning environment to an in-person constantly switching. We made use of what we could, and I would say we had a pretty good year overall. I would like to say that we made everything work and work well, from still having a guild team to constantly doing color guards I am proud to say that the cadets we have today are working hard and they're very smart individuals that are capable of doing so much more and I look forward to seeing them work so hard next year without us seniors to guide them. I would like to give a special thank you to Mass Sergeant Hazard and Lieutenant Colonel Blades for making this program what it is today. This program would not have the reputation it has today without the help of those two, even though it is their last year here they still hope, they still help, till the moment they will leave. They both have been a massive impact on every cadet, including me. You exactly know when it is both of them talking to you, when one of them is telling you constantly to focus on the little things, 
and the other at daydreaming about hating communists. Again, I would like to thank them on behalf of everybody, and we would, we would not be where we are today without them. Thank you to everyone's help, and I hope next year's leadership and cadets work hard and focus on getting this program running full time, and I wish them good luck. I can't wait to see what they accomplish. Again, thank you for everyone tuning in, and have a great rest of the school year. At this time, I'm going to present to all of first period the ribbons they've received throughout this year. Cadet Alvarez is receiving distinguished conduct, athletic participation, and drill team. Cadet Cheatham is receiving her band ribbon. Cadet Cooper Cadet Moser receiving drill team and color guard. Cadet Otero is receiving longevity, second award, and his sharpshooter badge. Cadet Sajak will be receiving his sharpshooter badge. Cadet Vogelsang is receiving his physical achievement, second award, longevity, second award, and sharpshear badge. Cadet Batista, longevity, third award, civic service, third award, color guard, second award, drill team, second award, and his sharpshear badge, second award. Cadet Kirkbride, is already up here, is receiving his physical achievement, third award, distinguished scholastic, third award, longevity, third award, distinguished conduct, athletic participation, third award, drill team, third award, color guard, third award, and sharpshire badge, second award. This time we have a few other certificates we wanted to hand out. Uh, as I read off your name and your certificate, please come up and just stand up here on the stage. And once I finish reading off the names, you'll be presented with your certificate. The certificate of recognition is presented to Cadet Alexis Alvarez for a drill team. Certificate of Participation to Cadet, Cadet Cooper. For Certificate for Color Guard, again, Cadet Alexis Moser. Also, Cadet Moser is receiving drill team. Cadet Garcia, participation. Cadet Kirkbride, color guard. Cadet Batista, color guard. Also, Toys for Tots certificate. Cadet Kirkbride. Also, drill team, Kirkbride. Batista, Toys for Tots, and Batista, Drill Team.
That concludes this period, this class period's awards. Unless I'm missing something. Okay. All of you may leave. We have one more presentation. So now we're going to do recognition awards. Those are four cadets chosen by the cadets in the program. Uh, in this class, there's only one cadet that got them, but he did get two awards, and that is Cadet Kirkbride. He got most determined and most enthusiastic cadet. And that concludes this period's uh, ceremony. Thank you. At this time, from uh, second period, we'll be presenting the national awards. The first award is from the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks, presented to one of our cadets in this class for outstanding performance in maintaining the highest standards of leadership and Americanism as a member of the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. It's again sponsored by the Casa Grande Valley Elks Lodge 1957, proudly serving the cause of patriotism. And that award goes to Cadet Corporal Xander Moore. Next award is from the Women Marines Association. It is a certificate and ribbon. Outstanding Cadet Award is presented to this cadet in recognition of meritorious service in the interest of the MCGROTC program, signed by the National Chairman Brenda Moore. And that award goes to Cadet PFC Rachel Miller. The next award goes is from uh, the United States Daughters of 1812. It was founded in 1892 as a volunteer women's service organization dedicated to promoting patriotism, preserving and increasing knowledge of the history of the American people by the preservation of documents and relics, marking of historic spots, recording of family histories and traditions, celebration of patriotic anniversaries, teaching and emphasizing the heroic deeds of the civil, military, and naval life of those who molded this government between the close of the American Revolution and the close of the War of 1812, to urge Congress to compile and publish authentic records of men in civil, military, and naval service from 1784 to 1815 inclusive, and to maintain at National Headquarters in Washington, D.C., a museum and library of memorabilia of the 1784-1815 period. The National Society of the United States Daughters of 1812 National Defense Committee, JROTC, awarded, awarded to this cadet, a JROTC student who has demonstrated qualities of academic excellence, leadership, military discipline, dependability, 
patriotism and upright character in speech and habits which exemplify the ideals upon which our nation was founded. Signed by the President, Marion Casper. And this award goes to Cadet Sergeant Santo Padilla. The next award is from the Navy League of the United States, uh, an organization of Navy, former Navy and active duty members. This is to certify that the Navy League of the United States has awarded the Theodore Roosevelt Youth Medal to this cadet for outstanding performance of duty. Given this 21st day of April 2021, signed by the, the Navy League Council President, and the award goes to Get at Corporal Lucinia Lowe. GPA, it comes with a certificate, a medal, and a check. This person was in the top 2% of her class. So the American Legion presents this certificate to this cadet of Casa Grande Union High School in recognition of the outstanding attributes demonstrated leading to the awarding of the American Legion Scholastic Excellence Medal. Sponsored by the American Legion, Fred A. Humphreys, post number eight, this 21st day of April, 2021. And that award goes to, I'm sure I don't call it, get it, Sergeant Madeline Holron. This time we're going to be presenting the ribbons for the whole class of second ten. Cadet Aguilar. Cadet Sopa. Cadet Sutton. Cadet Calderon. Receiving Distinguished Scholastic, Second Award, Longevity, Second Award, Distinguished Conduct, Color Guard, Second Award, Athletic Participation, Second Award, Drill Team, Second Award, Non-Commissioned Officer Leadership Ribbon, and Shot Expert in Marksmanship this year. 
Cadet Hazen receiving longevity, second award, and is receiving his sharpshooter badge. Cadet Lowe, longevity, second award, distinguished conduct, second award, color guard, second award, athletic participation, second award, drill team, second award, and her sharpshooter badge. Cadet Manuel is receiving longevity, second award, for athletic participation and sharpshooter badge. Cadet Miller receiving longevity, second award, color guard, drill team, and her sharpshooter badge. Cadet Moore receiving his longevity, second award, athletic participation, drill team, and his sharpshooter badge. Cadet Navamsa receiving his longevity third award, his sharpshooter badge second award. Cadet Archibald receiving longevity gold fourth award and his second sharpshooter badge. Cadet McNeil Cadet Padilla is receiving longevity, gold, fourth award, civic service, third award, color guard, gold, fourth award, drill team, gold, fourth award, and his marksmanship badge. more presentations in this class. If I call your name, just please come up to the stage and stand, and then you'll be, once I'm done, we'll come back. Receiving a color guard certificate, Cadet Lowe, Cadet Miller, Cadet Padilla, Cadet Calderon. Receiving drill team, again, Cadet Moore, Cadet Lowe, Cadet Padilla, Cadet Calderon, and Cadet Miller. All right, so next we'll be doing recognition awards. 
These were voted for cadets by cadets of the program. In this class, we only have two, and it was most supportive and best sleeves. Calderon got most supportive, and Sofa got best sleeves. So you guys can just come up and get your award. I have one last certificate that was just run up. Um, again, it goes to um, Toys for Tots. As you all know, every Christmas time, uh, cadets are very involved in collecting and helping the Marine Corps League and the Marine Corps Reserve with Toys for Tots. And so we had one individual that uh, participated from this class, and it's uh, Marine Corps League, Toss of Monday, Toss of Monday, Toss of Monday, Toss of Monday, Marine Corps Reserve, Toys for Tots. Certificate of Appreciation is gratefully presented to this cadet from Casa Grande Union High School, USMC, JROTC, December 2020, and that goes to Cadet Padilla. And that concludes the presentation for uh, second for 10. First thing we're going to do with the uh, fourth period is our national recognition. Um, each of these cadets has multiple awards, so it may take me a, a second or two to read them off. Uh, the first cadet that we are going to recognize is uh, receiving the Veteran of Foreign Wars Award. And that certificate is presented by the VFW here in, in Casa Grande. Also from the Marine Corps Association, this individual from the Board of Directors of the Marine Corps Association and Foundation takes pleasure in presenting this award as honor graduate in recognition of my endeavor and superior accomplishment my role in a course of study of professional education prescribed by the Commandant of the Marine Corps. And it's signed by William M. Faulkner, Lieutenant General, the United States Marine Corps retired, President and CEO. And both of these awards are presented to Cadet Captain William Breeze. Next cadet is also receiving a couple of awards. One is from the Daughters of the American Revolution. This is a national organization uh, comprised of people that can trace their lineage back to people who fought during the American Revolution. I also have from the military order <laughs> from the uh, military officers association uh, I have a flag of the United States of America this is to certify that the accompanying flag was flown over the United States Capitol at the request of the Honorable David Schweikert member of Congress signed by Thomas J. Carroll III, acting architect of the Capitol. These two awards from MOAA and Daughters of the American Revolution are presented to Cadet Captain Trevor Hartman. With the DAR comes a certificate, medal, and a check.
this next cadet also receiving multiple awards again from the military office association of america they present three awards one is for a medal one is for the flag which uh cadet hartman just received another one is an impact award it is a cash award given to a cadet that uh, has had a significant impact throughout this whole year i also from the military order of the purple heart is the order to establish the first purple heart was issued by george washington during the revolutionary war there was a proud history of an award which was created for gallantry but also of extraordinary fidelity and essential service the official papers signed by washington were saved from burning during the war of 1812. the famous award was revived in 1932 by president hoover and general douglas MacArthur. today as in the past a single band that unites members of the order is that each has sustained a wound inflicted by an enemy in combat there is no exclusion of war or branch of service the members come and bomb as if they have given of their own blood the order exists to serve not only combat wounded but all veterans and their dependents and so this organization sponsors uh, the military order of the purple heart JROTC award and it's a national leadership award presented to this cadet for exemplary leadership demonstrated by enrolled in a junior reserve officer training course given under my hand the year of award 2021 it comes with a certificate medal and a cash award also from the desert, desert mustangs of arizona the mustangs organization is a national organization it is comprised of marines that were enlisted and then through their service uh, ended up receiving their commission and this is a leadership award it says desert mustangs mustang leadership award and, and it is presented to as all the other awards again with a plaque as well as a cash award <laughs> receiving these three awards cadet captain raquel conant mc gerald dc casagrande union high school april 2021 <laughs> said something about taking the instructors to lunch. <coughs> this time I'm going to present the, the local ribbons, the recognition of what these cadets have done throughout the year. So if I could have them please come up to the stage. This is a very small class, so it's going to be kind of a round robin kind of thing. We're going to present the ribbons that they've received from Gerald TC, and then we have other certificates that uh, we'll pass out after that. Uh, Cadet Moore is receiving his physical achievement, his longevity, second award, drill team, second award, and sharpshooter badge. Cadet Conant 
receive, receiving her Distinguished Scholastic Second Award, Longevity Fourth Award, Distinguished Conduct Third Award, Color Guard Third Award, High Shooter Overall and Top Female, Drill Team Fourth Award, Outstanding Cadet, and is receiving her Expert Badge Marksmanship. Cadet Greaves, Longevity, Fourth Award, Color Guard, Third Award, Drill Team, Third Award, Officer Leadership, and her, his Sharpshooter Badge, Third Award. Cadet Hartman, Longevity, Fourth Award, Color Guard, Fourth Award, High Shooter, Male, Drill Team, Fourth Award, and finally got the Expert Badge this year. Sit down. So if Papa Oyvi will come back up, you just line up across the stage, please. I have a, a lot of miscellaneous certificates. I'm going to name them off, and then we'll be presented. Again, Cadet Hartman is receiving high male shooter, Cadet Conant, high female shooter, Cadet Hartman is receiving a Toys for Tots certificate for his participation this year, as well as Cadet Conant. Receiving a drill team certificate, Cadet Hartman, Cadet Moore, Cadet Greaves, Cadet Conant, Receiving, um, she's not here, but a certificate of participation, Cadet Thomas. For Color Guard, I have Cadet Hartman, Cadet Greaves, Cadet Conant. And these last certificates are based on uh, the cadets themselves created uh, a few things that they wanted other cadets to be recognized for. This has uh, Cadet Conant being nominated for Most Supportive Cadet, Cadet Greaves for Most Squared Away Cadet, and Cadet Hartman, Most Intimidating Cadet. Thank you.
And that concludes this ceremony for fourth period. Thank you. This time for uh, fifth platoon, we're going to present the national awards. We have several. The first national award is from the Fleet Reserve Association. It's Meritorious Bronze Medal Award Certificate of Recognition to this cadet. It's hereby awarded for recognition for active and cooperative participation in Casagrande Union High School, MCGROTC, in the true spirit of loyalty, protection, and service for the school years 2020 through 2021. And it's signed by the chairman of the Youth Activities Branch of FRA 163. Comes with a certificate, medal, and a money order. And that goes to Cadet Corporal Gracie Mark. Our next award is from the American Veterans. As one of, the, of America's leading veteran service organizations with over 250,000 members and vets or American veterans has a proud history of assisting veterans and sponsoring numerous programs that serve our country and its citizens. Membership in AMVETS is open to anyone who is currently serving who has honorably served in the United States Armed Forces from World War II to the present to include the National Guard and Reserves. Again, this award, certificate and medal, ROTC recognition award presented to this cadet for diligence in the discharge of duties and the willingness to serve both God and country for the mutual benefit of all. Signed this 21st day of April, 2021. And that cadet is Cadet Lance Corporal Gabriella Caker. The next award is from the Elks. The Elks had modest beginnings in 1868 as a social club for menstrual show performers called the Jolly Corks. It was established as a private club to elude New York City laws governing the opening hours of public taverns. After the death of a member left his wife and children without income, the club took up additional service roles, rituals, and a new name. Desiring to adopt a readily identifiable creature of stature indigenous to America, 15 members voted 8 to 7 in favor of the Elks above Buffalo. Early members were mostly from theoretical performing troops in New York City. It has since evolved into a major American fraternal, charitable, and service order with more than a million members, both men and women, throughout the United States and the former territories of the Philippines and the Panama Canal. Again, certificate and medal. The Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks presents to this cadet for outstanding performance in maintaining the highest standard of leadership and Americanism as a member of the Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. And it's sponsored by the Casa Grande Valley Elks Lodge 1957, proudly serving the cause of patriotism. And this is presented to Cadet Sergeant Michael Simpson. Our next award is from the National Sojourners. The purposes of National Sojourners shall be to organize current and former members of the Uniformed Forces of the United States and honorary members who are Master Masons into chapters for the promotion of good fellowship among its members. 
for assisting such as may be overtaken by adversity or affliction, for cultivating Masonic ideals, for supporting all patriotic aims and activities in Masonry, for developing true patriotism and Americanism throughout the nation, for bringing together representatives of the uniform forces of the United States, past and present, in a united effort to further the military needs of national defense and for opposing any influence whatsoever calculated to weaken our national security. National Sojourners presents this certificate and medal in recognition of the highest attributes of Americanism and support of the United States as a member of the Reserve Officer Training Corps. 21 April 2021, Phoenix Chapter Number 306, proudly serving the cause of patriotism. And this is awarded to Cadet Corporal Blake Stone. And the last national award that I have is from the Reserve Officers Association. The men and women who serve our nation in the cause of freedom need and deserve a voice in creating government policy. The ROA provides that voice. Respected, vigorous, effective, ROA has a long list of policy accomplishments and an ambitious long-range program for the coming decade and beyond. For more than 90 years, the Reserve Officers Association has been the only organization dedicated to, to supporting reservists and their critical role in national defense. Since 1922, ROA has championed the cause of reservists at home and on the battlefield. Again, certificate and medal from the Reserve Officers Association of the United States. By this certificate, be it known to all members and the citizenry of this nation that this cadet in Gerald T.C. studies at Casagrande Union High School has demonstrated outstanding dedication to citizenship, knowledge of civic responsibility, military work, orientation, self-discipline, and a sound work ethic. This award is presented in grateful acknowledgement of those achievements. Jeffrey E. Phillips, Major General, United States Army, retired National Executive Director. And this is awarded to Cadet Lance Corporal Jaden Arias. Simpson, can you come up? At this time, we're going to recognize all the uh, fifth platoon.
که در بره Cadet Versage is receiving his Physical Achievement Ribbon. Cadet Calderon is receiving her Color Guard, Athletic Participation, and Drill Team Ribbon. Cadet Downer is receiving Athletic Participation and Drill Team. Cadet Felix Cadet Moon Cadet Rubago is receiving civic service and band Cadet Reese. Cadet Arias will be receiving longevity, second award, distinguished conduct, second award, civic service, color guard, athletic participation, second award, drill team, second award, and her sharpshooter badge. Cadet Caker will be receiving Distinguished Scholarship, second award, Longevity, second award, and her Sharpshooter badge. Cadet Mark is receiving Longevity, second award, Distinguished Conduct, Civic Service, second award, and her Sharpshooter badge. Cadet Riggs receiving longevity, second award, and his Sharpshear badge. Cadet Stone is receiving his longevity, second award, distinguished conduct, civic service, second award, and Sharpshear badge. Cadet Simpson is receiving his longevity, third award, Civic Service, and his second Sharpshooter Badge. The next set of well, the uh, next set of certificates um, will be for things like drill team, color guard, and then I have a couple of other certificates for some, uh, that the cadets have come up with. So just as I call your name, I'd like you to just come up to the stage and line up, and then they will hand you your certificates. Okay. Cadet Downer is receiving Drill Team Certificate. Cadet Arias, Drill Team. Cadet Colorone, Drill Team. Again, Cadet Arias, Color Guard. Cadet Colorone, Color Guard. Cadet Mark is receiving Toys for Tots Certificate for her participation. And then I have
see this age. As decided by the cadets, the funniest cadet goes to Benjamin Riggs. And the best cover goes to Blake Stone. And that concludes uh, this for a fifth platoon. Thank you. This time I'm going to present the national awards from sixth period. We have two of them. The first award is presented by the Order of the Dillions. This is a fraternity of commissioned military aviators from all military services. It is named after the legendary figure, the Dalis, and was organized by World War I commissioned military pilots who sought to perpetuate the spirit of patriotism, love of country, and those high ideals of self-sacrifice which place service to the nation above personal safety and position. This award is offered to encourage the development of these traits in junior ROTC cadets and to interest them in a military career. The award is a certificate and medal, and it says from the Dillions Junior ROTC Achievement Award, presented to this cadet for outstanding performance as a cadet in the Junior Reserve Officer Training Program, awarded 21st of April, 2021. And that award goes to Cadet Sergeant Anthony Marietta. The second award goes to a cadet who is, unfortunately is not here, but I do want to read the certificate and award. It is again from the American Legion. It says the American Legion ROTC program presents this certificate to this cadet of Casablanca Union High School in recognition of the outstanding attributes demonstrated leading to the awarding of the American Legion Military Excellence Medal. Sponsored by the American Legion, Fred A. Humphreys, post number eight, this 21st day of April, 2021. The award includes the certificate, the medal, and the check. And that goes to Cadet Andrew Rivas. At this time, I'm going to recognize the rest of sixth period. Cadet Martinez Dominic is receiving his drill team and color guard ribbons. Cadet Martinez Tia. Cadet Quillen is receiving distinguished conduct, civic service, drill team, and color guard ribbons. Cadet Sackett. Yeah, this is 
certificate. in the mail to make sure he gets it. Okay, second. Cadet Gates receiving distinguished conduct and her sharpshooter badge. Cadet Marietta receiving his physical achievement, third award, distinguished scholastic, third award, and his second sharpshooter badge. Cadet Revis is not here, but he's receiving his band, drill team, color guard, and his second sharpshooter badge. Okay, these next set of awards are for a drill team and color guard. If I call your names, just please come up and stand on the stage and they will be presented to you. Cadet Quinlan receiving her drill team certificate. Cadet Rebus, drill team. Cadet Martinez, Dominic, drill team. Cadet Martinez, Dominic, color guard. Cadet Rebus, color guard. And Cadet Pullen, color guard. At this time, we will recognize our certificates of recognition. These are awards voted on by the cadets for the cadets. We have one in this class period. It is Anthony Marietta for best hair. And That concludes the ceremony for the sixth period class. This time, the Casablanca Union High School Marine Corps Junior ROTC will conduct change of command.
Attention to orders. Two, Captain William Greaves. You are to stand down as the commanding officer of the Cossack Rifle Union High School, Marine Corps Junior ROTC, at 1700 on 21 April 2021. You should be proud of your accomplishments and the accomplishments of the cadets under your command. Look forward to you mentoring the new CO and working with him to make the unit better this upcoming year. By order of Lieutenant Colonel Blades, SMI. At this time, the acting first sergeant will deliver the colors to the outgoing CO. Attention to orders. To Cadet Second Lieutenant, Evan Kirkbride, you are to assume command of the Consequence Union High School Marine Corps JROTC unit as of 1700 on 21 April 2021. You are to conduct yourself and command your cadets with all the respect of your title and in accordance with all Marine Corps JROTC orders and directives. By order of Lieutenant Colonel Blaze, SMI. At this time, we'll have final comments from the incoming CEO. speeches so I'll try to make this one short however all of you guys who know me know that talking a lot is kind of my thing I'd like to start my speech by first off thanking Mass Sergeant for his 20 years of teaching here which since Mass Sergeant is only 29 you can do some quick math and figure out Mass Sergeant's been teaching here since he was nine years old but all jokes aside Mass Sergeant has worked so hard for this program and dedicated year after year of his time to making this a better program and I can't think of a better role model for cadets than Mass Sergeant Hasser. So really quick, can we give Mass Sergeant a round of applause for all that he's done for this program? <laughs> Next we have Lieutenant Colonel. I'd like to specifically thank Lieutenant Colonel for always giving us the perfect amount of tough love to keep us motivated and make sure we actually got stuff done. In my eyes, Lieutenant Colonel is the backbone of this program, and next year is going to be interesting to say the least without his uh, guidance. So, I'm sad to see him go, but nonetheless, I'd like to give him a big round of applause for his retirement. See you later, Lieutenant Colonel. <laughs> now I'd like to thank a very special group of people that couldn't be up here with me on stage today, but it's organizations and sponsors that make this program possible. So, thank you, sponsors. Next, I'd like to thank all the parents of your JRTC cadets. You guys are really who makes this possible, putting up with your cadets, dry cleaning uniforms, taking early morning practices, and just making sure they're squared away. So although you can't be with us here in person, thank you parents. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank every friend I've made in Jared to see. Anytime I had problems inside, or out, inside or outside of Jared to see, I turned to my friends I made in this program for help, and they never left me out to drive. The friends I've made in this program are some of the best I've ever had, and it's with a heavy heart I send off our seniors. I've learned so much from this year's graduating class, and I couldn't have asked for a better group of mentors to guide me through this program. 
So, thank you, Senior Cadets. Good luck to start your future tanks here. With me here, I have two certificates I was awarded freshman year. One of them is an award for most integrity, and the other is for most selfless cadet. When I was awarded these certificates as a freshman, I felt like I had earned them and was really proud of them. I even went home and showed my parents. Now in the time since, I have completely forgot about these awards. But recently, I was cleaning my room, which is something I rarely do, and I found these. I found it hilarious because I put it together that I never did deserve these awards, and I still probably don't. So I'm going to keep these awards with me as a CO and strive to feel like I, I've earned these awards and be a leader that not only I can be proud of, but a leader that the cadets here can be proud of and be proud to say, hey, that's my CO. So I can't promise you that I'll be the best CO or even better than the ones leaving this year, but I can say I'll give everything I have to making this program something that people leaving us this year can look back and be proud of, a program I can be proud of, and most of all, a program the cadets can be proud of. Thank you.